Hi everyone, Rising Fun Gaming here, and welcome to the Deviant Naga Cougar Armor Overview. For the Deviant Armor Overviews, I will be covering both the Blade Master and Gunner iterations of them. Please note that there is no difference in appearance between both armor types. Well then, let's have a bit of a look at this one. And how cool is this? You're a shinobi type guy, aren't you? This one is going to be very, very popular, especially looking at how good it looks and by looking at the armor skills and how they all complement each other. But we'll go through those in a little while. But yep, this is what it looks like for the male armor set. Well, as always, we'll have a picture of the female one as well included in this video. But it's cool, you got this little scarf type thing as well. It's kind of giving me a stride out of you vibe as well. I forget if it's split into two or if it's just one for him. But anyway, you've got that. And um, yeah, how cool is it? I like the fact that the uh, pants aren't as bulky as well. Kind of didn't like that aesthetic for some of the Nagas armors um, out there. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really, really awesome. Let's see how it colors. Alright, so a decent amount of it colors so you can really, really tailor it to the way that you like it. I don't mind the default. Um, I kind of like this subtle deep purple as well. It's kind of cool. Uh, white's probably a bit too much. <laughs> And rainbow is probably going to be too much as well. It's not very uh, ninja-like to be um, standing out like that, is it? Alrighty. Okay, as for the statistics and the skills now, and you guys are going to love this. But first up, when you first make the Blade Master armor set, it's going to boost your defense by 220. Level up all the armor pieces to level 10, and that boost will go up to 490. This is a notably lower defense armor set um, when you compare it to a lot of the Deviants. And there's a good reason for that because the uh, armor skills, we'll go through that in a sec. As for the gunner armor version, when you first make it, your defense will go up by 110. Max all the armor pieces out to level 10 and that boost will go up to 245. Elemental resistances for the Blade Master armor set include negative 10 to fire, 5 to water, negative 15 to thunder, 0 to ice and 0 to dragon. As for the gunner variation, your ice resistance will actually be a point value of 5 and dragon resistance will be a point value of 5. Alrighty, as is the case for all Deviant armor sets, there are no armor skill slots. No slots to put in those um, good old decorations, unfortunately. As is also the case for all Deviant armors, you've got two active general pool skills, along with the Deviant specific skill. Um, in this case, it's called the Soul of the Deviant Naga Kuga here. Alright. One thing to note about these Deviant specific armor skills is that the point values will not be available, they will not be active on the armor pieces until the armor piece is leveled up to level 6. This is the case across the board, so you'll do a lot of work to get those. Okay, first up here we have Ultra Critical. This will increase the damage of your critical hits. Usually when you land a critical hit, your damage will be increased by 25%. For this skill, it's going to give you plus 40%. Very nice. Next we've got Evade Distance Up. This will increase your Evade Distance by 50%. And for the dual skill, giving Evasion plus 2 and Critical I3, Evasion plus 2 will extend the invulnerability period when invading. Invading? Evading. <laughs> Normal time of 0.2 seconds is now 0.4 seconds. Very nice. And then Critical I3 is going to increase your affinity by 30%. So you can see that we've got Ultra Critical and Critical I3 working beautifully together. Hopefully you get lots of damage from your critical hits using this armor set. Also we've got Evade Distance Up and Evasion Plus 2. And for those reasons I think that is why the defense is lower on this Deviant armor set when compared to a lot of the others. Alright, so this is the Deviant Naga Kuga armor set. What I have here is his very, very cool jewel blades. Do you like the look of those? I certainly do. Lovely colors. And yeah, I'd hate to be uh, cut up by those. Interestingly, which is, well, compared to a lot of the other Naga Kuga weapons throughout history in Monster Hunter, these I can confirm as well have like really, really nice sharpness. They're one of the ones that come with white sharpness very, very readily. Very, very cool. Love using it in aerial style. But as always, we're going to go ahead and pimp the general video I've done and it's featuring all 
of the information you probably want and need to know about Deviant Armors. Hopefully, you check that one out and enjoy it. My name's Rising Fun Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.